here I am sitting in front of an electron spin resonance spectrometer. Debbie Maluski remembers what it was like being one of the first female chemical engineers at Ford Motor Company 24 years ago. They would uh, guard the male, the men's restroom for me so I could run in there, go, and not have to make the hike across the building to the women's restroom. What about um, the sides of the seats? Maluski no longer needs to sneak into the men's room. Today, she leads a team of women, all engineers, designing cars of the future, using green technology, recyclable and renewable materials like wheat straw and soy. My group went from working with all men to, in this case, working with all women. So it has been a big change. Was it difficult at times? At times. I remember some times in the past where I was the only woman in a meeting and I would have an idea and maybe everybody would ignore that idea. And then a man would say that idea and they would call him doctor, even though I had my Ph.D. as well. Today, when it comes to women in the automotive manufacturing industry, still only one in four workers are female, and just over one in ten auto executives are women. Why don't more women gravitate to this field, do you think? I think it's just not, it's just not a traditional career path, and you have to really kind of seek it out when you're a woman. It's not like engineering really gets presented to you at the high school levels. I think things are starting to come around right. in education, but it takes a while, you know, for all of the women to go through their education and then filter in. So it doesn't change overnight. What do you bring to the field that maybe men don't, do you think? Well, I think we're really persistent. We're really passionate about it. Everybody here feels that we have to leave a good legacy for our children. Oh, wow. We had a meeting a couple of weeks ago, and a guy came in, and he looked at our group, and he said, Are, do they only let women work here? And I said, no, only the smart ones. <laughs> Between the five of them, the team has been awarded 10 prize patents. Even so, they can see they still have to toot their own horn. I have noticed that when many men think something, some fact is true, they're maybe 50% sure, they say it with confidence and everyone believes them. A woman can be maybe 95% sure of something and she'll say, well, I think it's this. And so they may not tend to notice. So I've really tried to change my ways and, you know, be more confident. Will you inspire the passion in your daughters for science and engineering? I think to some extent we already have because we often have events here. I know my daughters are very excited every time I mention maybe coming in to see the lab. Oh, so they, they get all excited. I think Ellen's daughters drew her this year on her Mother's Day card with a beaker and a little <laughs> test tube in her hand. So they're catching on.